able to sit next to someone who's so intelligent, yet he can kind of break it down to our level as well to help us leave here with something that we all can use. Um, one of the very first questions, Dr. Simon, that uh, I think a lot of people are, are excited about is um, just kind of your career and, and your story. Could you give us maybe some highlights uh, from, from your years of being able to change people's lives? First of all, thank you for the very kind introduction. Thank you for the very kind welcome. I have a lot of friends in Ohio, even though I'm a Michigan grad. I'm sorry for you. <laughs>
we are the CEOs of our own bodies. We have to take it upon ourselves to do the right thing. You have to care about yourselves because you're the most important. And if you don't have your health, you have nothing, right? So obesity is an epidemic in, in America and actually globally. So 60% of America, and that number is not too far off the world, are overweight. And we're eating more and we're eating things, but still one third of us on this planet, it doesn't mean just in sub, sub, sub uh, Saharan Africa, it means here in America, one third of us on this planet, so about 2.2 billion people have a micronutrient deficiency. So if we're eating a lot, we're not getting the right nutrients, we're causing significant health care issues. And back to the CDC, I'm, I'm, you know, without slides, I like just talk about things. So, <laughs> so, so the question was, you know, how, how much is this really impact? And it's just a huge problem. We know that roughly two-thirds to three-fourths of most medical disorders that we take care of today are preventable. Think about that. Two-thirds to three-fourths of what we're taking care of, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, stroke, cancer, two-thirds to three-fourths are felt to be preventable through appropriate lifestyle choices. So it's a huge problem. You cut health care costs in half if you took care of us on the front end. And if you started adopting healthy lifestyles, by Sal's, you know, Sal's us to do. I mean, these things are very good. Absolutely. Wow, isn't that exciting, guys? We get to go out there and just pack this up and every single day. Now, can you can call all of us in this room a little biased, Dr. Simon, but um, one of the questions that, that we are eager to find out, especially from your perspective, is um, how good are the Vitalis products really compared to all the other products? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if many of you know Nick. Where's Nick? He's in the back of the room. Where is he? Uh, he's somewhere over here. I think he's hiding. But it's, it, it just it always reminds me of a funny story. So I think, you know, what I've done is I've spent 25 years of research, and, you know, not all of it's been funded by the NIH. We had mentioned that. I've had funding from the NIH. I've had funding from uh, aspects of the DOD. I've had funding from the industry in different places over the last 25 years of my career. And a lot of it has been on nutrition and health and wellness. A lot of it's been on aging. So I've been in the lab essentially since 1981, starting at the Presbyterian Hearing Institute at the University of Michigan Hospitals, moving to Wayne State, where I'm still a professor at Wayne State, and that's the health system. I have my own lab there. And so we've worked in the laboratory for years looking at the effects of aging. And that's really been kind of my passion, is, is aging and how to slow that process. And in so doing, we came up with some very interesting compounds that are naturally occurring that affect the aging process. And aging, if you look at any definition of aging, and I don't want to get too biochemical on you here this morning, but if you look at any definition of aging, it's the progressive deterioration of the body to the point that you have an increase in the amount of disease. I mean, who wants to get old with that kind of uh, definition? Not me, you know? And I think that, you know, I all people say, oh my God, I had my 60th birthday, oh my God, I had my 50th birthday, and I always think it beats the alternative, right? So, we all agree that it beats the alternative. We want to get older, we want to get older in a healthy way, uh, in a vibrant way, and I want to be 95 skiing in the mountains of Colorado or on some lake water skiing or doing something fun or, or some sort of exercise. I want to be healthy, and I think that we can do that. So how do you do that? You ask about, you know, what's so special about the Vicelis Project. I think what's special about it is that 25 years of my own research, but hundreds of years of other people's research, thousands of papers to substantiate what we're doing and why we think it works. So there's, we're a very data-driven company, and most people don't have that. Most people don't have a, a, a medical doctor and a nutritionist on their board. Most people don't have a PhD scientist that we have working on the board to help create and be part of the development of these types of products. They just kind of throw things together without any real testing. We've done an awful lot of bench research, um, a lot of great clinical stories that we've had here. We have patents. Most people don't have patents. We're made in an FDA inspected laboratory. Almost nobody is made in an FDA inspected laboratory, and I insisted upon that. Why? Because I'm not putting something into my body that I don't think is perfect or near perfect. And likewise, for my wife and my kids, who of course I love, I want things that I know are, are good for them, are sustainable, are healthy, are natural whenever possible, and are safe and effective. So that's what we've created. So we're made in an FDA inspected laboratory. What does that mean? It means that every ingredient that comes in, and there are more than 70 different nutrients that come in to make up the bypass. 
Every single ingredient gets checked. Before the, they, they open it, they take a sample of that and get sent out to a third party laboratory to verify that, for example, the ginkgo biloba has 24% uh, ginkgo flavones and 6% terpenes. That the ginseng is standardized for 0.03% ginsenosides. That, the, that the, the vitamin E is indeed natural D-alpha-tocopherol, not D-L-alpha-tocopherol, which is the synthetic form of vitamin E. So everything, the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, and everything gets done with that product. I don't know of any other company that really does that. Um, that's one reason that I, I love working with Nick, Blake, and Ryan is that they, they have said that I can talk to science, that I can oversee it and make something that I think is perfect and safe, and, and that's what I get to do and that's what I love to do. So FDA inspected laboratory, most people don't do that. GMP certification means good manufacturing processes, that's part of it. Um, most companies don't do that. Once the product is made, the FDA allows certain tolerances where things could be up or down just a little bit, you know, because you can't, and nothing is, you know, we're all unique, every snowflake is different, every person is slightly different, every pill has a certain amount of tolerance that is allowed by the FDA. And we're always with those guys to get sent out and verify that once it's made, that it has what it says that it has. So that's the kind of processes that we go. We have, we have uh, multiple patents that back our, our company product. Uh, we have a scientific team that's put things together. We've done the years of research, the thousands of studies to verify that this amount of X and that amount of Y are appropriate for one another, are synergistic and have a positive effect. Uh, we've just done so many different things uh, to, to make it safer, to make it better, to make it like nobody else has. So I'm very excited about that. And I started the story by saying, <coughs> Nick um, called me up one day and said, hey, hey Michael, this is I, uh, um, I sent our product out with uh, Herbalife, with Pharmanex, uh, uh, with USANA, and I'm going to get it tested for its ORAC value, which is the ability of the product to scavenge free radicals. This is how do you think we'll do? And I said, you know, I don't know. I hope we'll do well. I had no clue how we do. So it was, it was totally blind to me. I had no idea. But it was sent out to an independent laboratory. And, you know, I think Herbalife, I think Pharmanex, I think USANA are good products. I just think we are substantially better than companies like that. And it turned out... something better, A, and B, the, the mindset and philosophy of Vicelis is not really all about the pill, it's not all about the shape, and you, you, you hear that and that resonates because that's important, that's the vehicle to get us there, but it's about health, it's about wellness, it's about giving back, you talk to anybody, any of the ambassadors, any of the people that are at the higher levels of the company, they're always doing something humanitarian, they're always doing something to give back, and that's what this company stands for, so I'm so proud of you. Hearing loss and ringing in the ears. 
And uh, while there are no cures for that, actually one of the patents awarded as part of a Bicellus product is something that actually mitigates against noise and hearing loss. They were very interested in that product and they had got the doctor. So, you know, to, to have the impact and to have the government interested in what you're doing and, and, and not because you're doing something bad, but because you're doing something good, <laughs> um, that's, that's very exciting. And I think, uh, to, to me, again, when I stop and I think I feel blessed that I get to see patients every day, that I get to have some impact and I do my best to help. You know, we can't help everybody, we try. I really, really believe that we can try to help people. Um, but I think linking up with a company like this, I, I always joke that I would never, ever, ever link up with a, a network marketing company. I, the, the concept I just didn't like, it just didn't fit with me. And, and what sold me was Nick Blake and, and Ryan said, you know, we're so much more than that. And I don't have to sell a product. That's, that's not what I'm good at. I mean, I'm good at being in the lab. I'm good at, uh, you know, doing the research. I'm good at uh, reading the studies, trying to figure out what's best for, for me, for my wife, for all of you, and then double checking. And that, that to me, you know, the, the alignment with this company is something that I'm so proud of because it gives me the opportunity to reach out to thousands and thousands of people from countries around the world. Um, and I think that's exciting. And then, you know, I'm also proud about the, the, the work we're doing in Bangladesh to help solve rickets, which is a nutritional issue. And so there's, there's just a lot of things. It's hard to pick one thing. So I'm just uh, proud to be here, happy to be here, and happy to be working with you. Well, we certainly appreciate your help, too, with the, with the United States troops coming home with that. Guys, please give them a big round of applause.